Five percent of the time, I'm making moves. Twenty percent of me is artist. Fuck. Only twenty percent of me is artist. Twenty-four percent is modest. I started thinking about this project in 2019. Well, before that, I wanted to like think about whiteness for years before that. I think there's kind of a, a certain way that people are having conversations about race and identity in America right now, and. I sometimes find that those conversations feel redundant or repetitive, and I feel like this piece is pushing against that in so many different ways. Whiteness Part One is an immersive 360 degree audiovisual installation that incorporates floating heads and rapid fire typography that uses spatialized audio over six channels to create unique experience. My name is Cameron Neal and I'm the director and video designer. I'm Paul Pinto. I wrote the music and the words. Um, 20 to 80 percent of me is white, whatever that means. Uh, the process of making this piece be this big was these little etudes, these little studies, trying a small idea and then scaling it up, and then try to make the material to broaden it and just give it context and give it chutzpah, some grounding. When he first sent me the music, I really wasn't familiar with his work at that point, and it just felt like it was so uncategorizable. Like, every time I listened to it, there was just so many little, like, nuggets and juicy things that I was finding inside of the composition, and it just felt so dense and visual for me, because I felt like there was already this kind of connection to the things that I had been exploring visually and conceptually, like the way that he was kind of working with his body and also text and typography. We were working remotely the entire first part of this collaboration. I had like shoot video on my phone and like, how about this? And we'd piece it together with the audio. We had originally envisioned this as like the 16 by nine music video. We were really curious about what it might mean to expand that and really create an, a space that people can move through and really immerse themselves inside of this world that we were imagining. We were at Culture Hub, Billy and Deandra were hanging up various types of fabric and material. We had six projectors all trying different things like projecting on flat surfaces, on textured surfaces. It went from exploring panels to exploring like a cyclorama. And the animation ideas too were, were similar. Like, okay, we have one of my heads. I want multiple of my heads. Let's try seven. made like multi-channel pieces but have never really made something that I guess is literally a circle. <laughs> Just trying to figure out how to continue to like engage the viewer but not overwhelm and like continue to find unexpected like hidden moments inside of the piece was really a lot to wrap my head around. Culture Hub was really helpful in allowing us to have space to play with projectors and to play with translucent materials that we could project on. Also creating this almost video game 3D simulator environment that we could just plop the videos into to get a sense of what was working and what was not working. One of the great luxuries and benefits of this Culture Hub residency and this generous lending of the space with La Mama is to try out this larger version. For a long time, I actually didn't know that Ellen Stewart was black. It was just so impactful to realize that this pioneer in this performance and avant-garde space was this black woman that was holding space for all of these people to be able to try things and throw up these like different ideas. So you can really feel that history in this room and it's an honor to be able to engage with that and, and show work here. Conceptually, there's so much more to explore. Thinking about identity as, as a part of 
this piece. I guess the first step is writing more, writing the next part. And I have all this text from all this research that, and, and these micro songs that didn't make it into this cut. With like an endless budget and resources, the hope would be to really make it even larger. Not just in duration, but also numbers of heads, numbers of channels of audio, size of video, capacity of audience. Audience come in and they're suddenly surrounded by this huge white canvas. Is it in space? Do we like try this in zero G? Does this work outside? Also, just being able to get more people to see it. I think that's always a, a challenge with the work is that it only exists for a limited amount of time and only so many people have, have access to it. And then there's the idea of incorporating a live element in some way with some thoughts, but that's also part of the discussion. <laughs>